Uh, you, you we're in some tough negotiations with the uh, big state employee unions. Uh, got uh, got those done. Have all the unions settled to this point? There were 17 of them? Well, we're, we're right? still waiting for the vote uh, yeah. on, on the contracts. But tentative agreements are in place uh, Tentative with everyone. agreements, I believe, are in place. Uh, we still we have a couple union contracts next year mm -hmm. uh, that we have to deal with. And I think that's very important. Uh, it's kind of been missed in the... Uh, uh, celebration or, or complain about the budget uh, that uh, as compared to four years ago when the union contracts went up when we're just talking about base salary by 10 percent over four years uh, this time it was only four percent uh, and I think the union should be recognized and should be applauded for understanding that we were in different uh, times than we were four years ago that they came to the table and they they negotiated I believe in good faith uh, my negotiation team did the same thing we didn't, as I indicated earlier here in the show, do this in public. Uh, and in fact, you all tried to ask me questions, I think, the we last did. time. I said, <laughs> we're not neg going to negotiate this in public. And there's a reason. It's so you can have honest, open dialogue without it being all over the front page uh, of a paper or on the radio. Without, I mean, there were some protests, but they were nothing compared to what we saw in other states. It's funny you should bring that up because now we're seeing managers in some state departments anonymously complaining to the local paper, the Patriot News, that they have some union employees now making more than they are, that, that their subordinates are making more money. It's got to drive you crazy, first of all, that no one's putting their name behind those comments. But what about the problem about managers and subordinates? Well, that, that's clearly been a problem, and I understand that. I, I, I've seen it. Remember, I was attorney general uh, for two years before, or two and a half years before I left there. Uh, our management people, our non-union people, are not receiving any pay raises. Uh, it, it skews the structure, the pay structure of a uh, of an organization, and I certainly understand uh, the problem that we're facing in, in Pennsylvania. Uh, and you know, I'm picking up the pieces of what was left over uh, at this point in time, and we're trying to uh, get a structure back. And where do you start? You start with the contract. You know, would I like to be able to give pay raises to all the uh, people that are the non-union people in Pennsylvania? Sure. It didn't fit into the revenues into the budget this year. Uh, hopefully it will next year.